Good morning, Virgo. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, extended read, so get comfy, grab your favorite adult beverage, and we shall do this. Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Six of Cups, energy coming in at the bottom of the deck, and a Queen of Cups reverse. Interesting. Actually, it's really interesting. Six of Cups, Scorpio, Queen of Cups is Cancer. So you got a true pair right here. So let's let's see what's going on here, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Virgo. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo, feel like being a Virgo. Virgos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Virgo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It could resonate as the main story. And Virgo could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Virgo or for a Virgo. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages from my lovely Virgo winds, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. All right. What is the energy for Virgo they need to be aware of? <sighs> Deep breath. What is the energy for Virgo they need to be aware of? There it is. You, Nine of Pentacles reverse. What's influencing the Nine of Pentacles reverse? What's influencing the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Page of Cups reverse. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Ten of Wands reverse. Ending a cycle and dropping something. What's in the past? Hierophant reverse. Virgo, what is going on? What's on your mind? King of Cups. Wow. What that's on your mind? To be loved like that. You. I don't feel like you have it, you had it or I have it. Hierophant reverse back here is something didn't come together or somebody left causing just, it just get, it was sadness. Somebody had to drop this. It was stressful. It, it was burdensome. Maybe it was a lot of fighting or whatnot, but what you want is just somebody to stick around. That's what I get. Somebody to stick around. Somebody to, that who's real, you know, and, and that you can have a conversation with or that you can really connect to. What's in the near future? Queen of Cups reverse. How do you currently see yourself? Temperance reverse. What the heck? What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? Ooh. Eight of Pentacles and Strength reverse is where this is. King of Pentacles upright. Three of Pentacles. You got another true pair, King and Queen of Pentacles. And then the Tower reverse. King of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles. Somebody who's worth investing, but more importantly, somebody who wants to invest in you. I think, you know, it's higher to be in gaslit. And I really get that it's just hiring to believe somebody for what they say, only for them to disappoint you. Somebody's dropping something that's been really stressful. It could even be the energy of a past breakup or what just a, like a line of people that you just end up can't trust, you know? But... <clears throat> With this King of Pentacles coming in and a Three of Pentacles and a Tower Reverse, it's like somebody's let, this doesn't feel like you, Virgo, at all. I feel like somebody's ready to drop whatever it is they've been carrying. This feels like a Ten of Wands upright, carrying all the weight. Somebody's ready to drop it, just like we have reason for the reading. What are in your emotions? I kind of get, is somebody waking up to this connection? What are in your emotions? And also, if this is you, Tower Reverse talks about old energy and what has happened in the past. And maybe because you have somebody new in, you don't have to carry this anymore. The memories of this, because you're ready to make new memories with somebody else. Okay, what are in your emotions here? What are in Virgo's emotions? Eight of Swords in one's head. That would be very Virgo-like. What's the outcome here for Virgo? What's the outcome here for Virgo? I feel like something you manifested is coming in, but maybe sooner than you thought. It's weird because I feel like it's sooner than you thought, but it took a freaking long time. And now that it's here, it's like, whoa, I'm not ready. You know, it's just because you got complacent and waiting for something to change. What is the outcome here for Virgo? Knight of Pentacles reverse, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Wands reverse. 
So the seven of cups, I feel like it's now or never. That's the feeling. I feel like you're breaking free from a lot of heavy energy. I feel like you've been carrying the past on your back for way too long and it, you don't want to carry it anymore. You're ready to drop it. Why? Out of a, a, a crap load of reversals, you have some really great uprights and that's where the eye goes to. You have the king of pentacles here and you have a three of pentacles here. And it just feels like this king is saying, hey, you know what? I have an opening. I'd like if this is a job read. Do you come over here? Because it does feel like something new is beginning with that three of pentacles. But it's like you're laying a proper foundation, one that has been torn away down here. Um, and for some of you, I'm really getting the sense that you're not leaving a relationship or a job, but I feel like it's already done and gone. And because nothing new has come in, it's just kind of like sitting in an energy. And I just feel like now that something is coming in and it catches you, like with this temper, how you currently see yourself, temperance reverse, and in your emotions and eight of swords, it's like you've earned wings. You've been stuck in this energy for so long. But I feel like this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles is coming by and, o and open that lid. And it's now time for you to fly and see what's out of there. I mean, look above. There's no stars left. It's just clouds. But there are stars. It's just on the side. But this person just can't stop looking down. They're just kind of really lost in whatever they're thinking about. And what's beautiful right above it, I said there's no stars. It's the Seven of Cups, which is the stars. So I feel like it's time to focus on you and focus on whatever the star is because it's not like this is going to be better than the rest. The thing is, is I feel like all of these blessings are for you, but it's just like now it's time for you just to focus on whatever the first step is and getting out of the thinking mode and honestly getting back into a fire element. There's not, the fire is reversed and it just feels like just overthinking, overthinking. And then you get down the what if, what if it doesn't change and stuff like that. So if I, what it really feels like is you're going to be proactive and making a change because maybe you kept thinking this year is going to be better and then it's no different than last year or hell, it could have even been worse. And it's just now you're saying, you know what? I have to change something in my life. I have to do something different here because I do not want next year to be like it was this year and last year and the year before. So if this is love for you or job, we have a temperance reverse that tells me that somebody's all in one and not enough in another. Some of you will resonate with one like a job and saying, I haven't had love since, you know, 1736, Tara lady. And I forgot what that feels like because on my mind, I just want to be swept away. I want somebody real, somebody who's not going anywhere. Um, but it just feels like you got somebody worth investing in because they really want to invest in you. Boom, right there. Which causes you to finally come out of this Knight of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse. And you know what's really beautiful about it is the King energy's upright. Virgo's the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like your time as a Knight is over. That's the feeling I have. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius right here. Knight of Pentacles, there you are. Um, I thought I saw... I mean, Pisces reminds me of the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I'm looking to see if there's another one. The Knight of Swords is upright, but that's not a great card you want upright. It just feels like your time as a knight is over. And somebody says, hey, Virgo, you are worth investing in. You don't have to keep running on the treadmill. It's time to get outside and see where, where your, your legs, where your heart will take you. It just, somebody's giving you an opportunity. I feel, I feel like somebody's giving you an opportunity. It really, it feels like that. All right, Nine of Pentacles reverse, center of the reading, Virgo energy. What is this about? The Nine of Pentacles reverse, center of the reading. Nine of Pentacles reverse, center of the reading for Virgo. And the Nine of Pentacles upright. See how everything changes? And I feel like it's, it just feels like one day how so much changes when when day after day or month after month and year after year, it could have been the same. And then suddenly things start to turn around. Your luck is finally changing. Page of Cups reverse influencing this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is that? The lack of is what that is. The Page of Cups reverse. But then the Ace of Swords comes in. So is it love that you crave? Is it stability that you crave? Is it all of the above that you crave? I feel like you're coming out of overthinking something. And because somebody's saying, 
what are you doing? Why, why aren't you, why are you still off on the market? You know, why, why aren't you working? It's just like somebody really, really wants to invest in you and they're actually shocked that somehow, some way you're available. It, it really does feel that. Ace of Swords is communication. It's also the yes card. And it's just, I feel like you have some really good news coming in. You have some type of opportunity that really changes a lot in your life, you know? Ten of Wands reverse reason for the reading. Two of Cups, Virgo. Virgo. Virgo in love. What's this Hierophant reverse in the past? Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's what I'm, I, it just feels like when something ended, it kind of was like frozen in time. But now somebody's unfreezing this and breaking, breaking through and pulling you out of this. King of Cups on your mind. Scorpio energy. What's the King of Cups on Virgo's mind? And the justice. You got a new contract. Is it of love or work? It's going to make you very happy. I just feel like you're going to be kind of shocked though. It's like, wow. I, I mean, I wanted this, but you didn't think it was actually going to come in. You started to lose hope with the Page of Cups reverse. Seven of Pentacles right here. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups reverse in the near future. And the Four of Swords reverse. It's interesting because the outcome is the Knight of Pentacles reverse. And when the Knight of Pentacles reverse, that's a bit of the what if card. It could be an up all night worried. Well, what if I take this and it falls away? What if, what if? Seven of Pentacles is... Seven of Pentacles talks about previous investment and thinking about all the time spent. Interesting enough though, Virgo, you have a 10 of, you're a 10 of Pentacles, right? Right next to the seven is a three of Pentacles. So it kind of feels like somebody comes into your life, some, or if this is a job, I know it sounds confusing, but I really do have people that will listen and they'll just resonate as work or they'll resonate in love. So I, I just, I go back and forth because I actually see it back and forth. I feel it. So if you go for an interview and it really seems to go well, I get this week, something like a week you may not hear and you start to lose hope that it's yours and it's like devastating because it's like you find, really saw your ticket out of this energy. You saw more money, you saw how your future can change. If this is love, somebody really swept you away. But I do get a sense of waiting here and because of that, it puts somebody in a queen of cups reverse, kind of about sad, oh, you know, afraid of losing something that you don't have quite yet, but you really now want. So there is the stress, but then boom, here they come. Here they come right here. So let me go there. King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Energy coming in you don't see coming. What is that? It just feels like somebody had to deal with something and it, it just took a longer than thought. King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Energy coming in you don't see coming. And the Seven of Wands reverse. It, it, definitely this King of Pentacles was getting themselves loose from somebody else. And that is what somebody kept them... It's like they thought they were free and it's like, oh, wait a second. I have to deal with this before I offer this to somebody else. They just had to make sure that cup was available before they offered it to you. That's the feeling here. Temperance reverse how you currently see yourself though. And the page of wands reverse. So some of you, I'm starting to get the vibe that as I'm doing this reading, some of you may already know this story and you're in the waiting period. How you see yourself is really thinking about it not happening. You got a taste for it. You got opened up to it. And then all of a sudden, where'd they go? They're not, I don't feel like somebody ghosted you. I feel like somebody is just trying to shake somebody else, you know, or waiting for somebody to vacate something so they can offer it to you. Eight of swords in your emotions. What is the eight of swords? And the high priestess reverse. High priestess reverse is a red card, red flag card. Eight of swords is in one's head and kind of like, I don't really want to get away from this because I feel like it just feels like you saw your life change with this opportunity and in your emotions, it's like, do I speak up? Do I reach out? Do I wait for them to reach out? Why the high priestess reverse and the death reverse holding on and hoping I'm getting hoping, hoping somebody's going to reach out. So what is this? Knight of Wands reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse in the outcome. Two of Swords is this in between. Why the Two of Swords? Waiting. That's a, a bit of a waiting card. What's this Two of Swords about? Libra and energy. And then the Nine of Wands reverse. Deciding to let 
something go that's not working anymore. But why? Why, 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 why? Well, nine of wands reverses and eight of wands upright, but oh, there you are, back up on the horse. See, I just feel like it's like, I don't think somebody was trying to scare you. In fact, you know what, Virgo? I who When this offer comes in, I don't even think they realize how bad you want it because you play off like a cool as a cucumber and they had no idea what this means to you. To them, it's a three up, to this king, to this king that has everything, that has this empire, it's a three of pentacles, you know? They, you know, they remember starting here, but to you, this is a lifeline and you're holding on to this offer like it is your last lifeline because some of you feel like that, but don't give up. Some of you are thinking about giving up. Don't give up because I feel like this is gonna really surprise you. Something told, told I can't even speak, something tells me that it just took them a little bit of time to figure it out how to, how to come back in or how to re-offer something. They thought they had it available to give. They didn't. It went back and forth. And now seven of stars, seven of cups. You have it right here. What's the seven of cups in the outcome for Virgo? What's the seven of cups? And there you are, eight of pentacles. I love it. I love it. And the six of wands. So it works out. But I think, I think somebody had you stressed. I do. I just don't think they realize how, how bad you really want this. And you do because you're holding on to it. Like I said, like it's your last lifeline and they're offering it, hoping you don't leave, you know? So I, I love where it's going, but I feel bad that somebody was in this stressful period, you know? All right, Virgos, have a great rest of your week and take care.